like all of my book ideas and most of my magazine ideas, if you had asked me before I began working on it if I thought I'd be writing a book about libraries, I would say, absolutely not. Are you kidding? What, what would I write about? But that's always the surprise to me that I find myself in the middle of a subject that I had never anticipated. In this case, I was being given a tour of the Los Angeles Public Library. I had just moved to LA. I'd never been to the library, which is a historic building built in the 1920s, incredibly beautiful building. As I was going through it, I started thinking, God, libraries are kind of amazing, aren't they? I mean, there's just every different sort of person wandering through and every possible book on every imaginable subject. And the, the, the crazy array of people and information in this one building and the fact that it is entirely open to, to anybody coming in and out, I thought, this is a kind of an amazing place. I'd never really thought about it before, but libraries are, they're kind of amazing. I, I, I wonder how they really work. I've spent tons of time in libraries, but I never stopped and thought, I wonder how a library works. I started getting very seduced by the idea of writing basically about a year in the life of an urban library. Then I heard about the fact that the Central Library downtown in LA was the site of the largest library fire in the history of the United States, an arson fire. And I thought, oh my God, this is my book. This is my story. Not only do I have this fascinating setting, this world that we all know, but we don't really know that the world of libraries, now I've got this weird crime that was rather epic, that shut the library down for six years, that destroyed 400,000 books. I just thought, this is, this is really interesting. And lo and behold, the next thing I knew, I was writing a book about it.